Health Pioneers presents, How to Improve Your Health with Ginger. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more relevant health topics. Ginger is known for its spicy flavor and its ability to help with minor gastrointestinal issues. However, ginger has also shown promise as an effective anti-inflammatory agent. If you are considering adding more ginger into your diet or supplement regimen to improve your health, there are several ways to go about it. Method 1. Adding more ginger to your diet. 1. Drink ginger tea. One of the easiest ways to include more ginger in your diet is to start drinking ginger tea. You can make ginger tea using a commercial brand of ginger tea or by steeping fresh ginger root in hot water. To make ginger tea, place about 1 teaspoon of minced ginger into a mug. Then, pour boiling water over the ginger. Let the tea steep for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then strain the tea through a sieve. You can drink up to 3 to 4 cups of ginger tea per day. 2. Season your food with ginger. Adding ginger to food can give you some of the potential benefits of the herb without the risks of taking a concentrated supplement. Some easy ways to add ginger to your meals include, in dinner recipes. Try adding 1 to 2 teaspoons of minced ginger to a stir-fry, soup, or curry recipe. In baked goods. Include about 1 half teaspoon of dried ginger in your next batch of muffins or cookies. As a garnish. If you like the taste of raw ginger, then you can try adding about 1 half teaspoon of minced fresh ginger to a salad or a bowl of soup. 3. Make some candied ginger. If you really like the taste of ginger, but prefer it on the sweet side, then making your own candied ginger is a great option. The process is not difficult, but it is a bit time-consuming. Peel and slice one cup of fresh ginger root. You can slice the ginger however you want. Just keep in mind that larger pieces will take longer to dry. Combine one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of sugar in a small saucepan and bring the mixture to a boil. Then, add the ginger to the pot, reduce the heat to medium-low, and simmer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, use a slotted spoon to place the ginger on a wire rack. You will need to let the ginger dry on the rack overnight. Store the ginger in an airtight container in your pantry for up to 3 months. 4. Take ginger supplements. Ginger is also available as a capsule supplement that you can take to help with various symptoms and conditions. Some common uses of ginger supplements include, stomach troubles. If you are dealing with nausea, gas, or other types of indigestion, then taking one gram of ginger each day may help you to feel better. You can divide this amount into a multiple doses taken throughout the day, such as two 500 mg doses or four 250 mg doses. Pregnancy nausea. If you are dealing with nausea from pregnancy, then you may get some relief by taking between 650 mg to 1 gram of ginger daily. Arthritis pain. If you have pain caused by arthritis, then taking 250 mg of ginger 4 times per day may help. Method 2. Taking precautions with ginger. 1. Talk to your doctor first. As with any herbal supplement, it is a good idea to talk to your doctor before you decide to include it. Tell your doctor about the benefits that you hope to gain by using ginger and what, if any, conditions you hope to treat. Your doctor can help you to decide if ginger is the best option or if stronger medicine might be required. Do not take ginger without your doctor's permission if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Have gallstones. Have a bleeding disorder. Have a heart condition. Have diabetes. 2. Limit your total intake of ginger. Your total daily intake of ginger should not exceed 4 grams per day. This limit includes the amount of ginger that you consume in teas, foods, and supplements combined. Keep track of how much ginger you consume each day to make sure that you do not exceed the 4 grams per day limit. 3. Avoid ginger if it interacts with your medications. Certain medications can interact with ginger, so ask your doctor first if you are taking anything or if you are being treated for a medical condition. Some medications that may interact with ginger include blood thinners, such as warfarin and aspirin diabetes medications, due to the risk that ginger will lower your blood sugar. 4. Stop taking ginger if you notice any side effects. Some people experience negative side effects from using ginger. You may be able to reduce these side effects by taking ginger with your meals. Side effects from ginger are often mild, but they may include heartburn, diarrhea, mouth irritation, belching, Method 3. Choosing ginger. 1. Buy fresh ginger for teas and food. 
Fresh ginger is the most potent form and it is easy to find in grocery stores. Look for a piece of ginger root that has smooth skin and a gingery odor. The root should feel firm, not mushy or floppy. You can store an unpeeled piece of ginger in your refrigerator for up to four weeks. Just keep it wrapped in paper towels or place it in a brown paper bag. Store peeled pieces of ginger in a plastic bag or container in your refrigerator. Peeled ginger will keep for a few days in the refrigerator. 2. Keep some dried ginger on hand. Dried ginger powder is also a good way to include more ginger in your diet. You can add the powder to muffins, cookies, cakes and other dishes. If possible, choose a powdered ginger that is organic. Powdered ginger will keep in your pantry or spice rack until it reaches its expiration date. Check the package to determine when you need to replace your powdered ginger. 3. Purchase ginger supplements. When choosing an herbal supplement, it is important to be cautious. Supplements are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, so manufacturers may include misleading claims on their products or even misrepresent the contents of the bottle. One good way to increase the chances that you are getting a quality product is to call the manufacturer and ask some questions, such as, how do I know that this product is safe? What is your quality control system? What research have you done to determine if the product is effective? Have any of your consumers experienced adverse effects after using this product? If so, what were they? Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video.